Hey everyone, this is a, a flip through of the journal that I was made the tags for and which did a kind of little tutorial on my thought processes for the cover. So this is the finished journal. It's a hard cover, so eight and three quarters by six inches. And I've learnt my lesson. We have an inch and a half spine, got a little raised rib which I've gone over with Maya Gold. And then on the back there's um, a stencil pattern that I've done also with Maya Gold. There is 144, I think, pages with a H fastener as a closure. Now on the front we've got words, such wondrous things. Paintbrush, I did go back in after the tutorial and tie a little bit of string on it just to finish it off. So watercolour paper and then some die cuts that I've used watercolour just to, to colour them in. Now this little chap, the wax seal, I couldn't think of a way, this is actually a booklet and I couldn't think of a way of keeping it shut so I've sort of put it underneath. So a little booklet on the front and then it just tucks behind there just to keep it shut. Oh, wind's picking up a bit. So if we go inside, we have Oh, let me just, that's better, it's alright, it's getting on in the afternoon now, so the shadows are all a bit, uh, a bit funny. This is actually watercolour paper, sort of £200 cold pressed watercolour paper. I haven't been brave enough to, to draw these, so these are actual prints, these ones. Blank on the inside because I figured... Do you know what? Watercolour paper is great for sketching as well as for, for painting on. Same thing, so the beginning of each signature, I've taken watercolour paper and I've I've coloured it. I've done a background wash and then I've stenciled and this one of butterflies that I've tinted. And this is one of the tags. So this is the one with the dried flowers. And yep, it does seem to be holding up. It has been shoved in here and it does seem to be holding up. It hasn't broken off. So that was the tag that was in one of the tutorials as well. This book, I will say, is already reserved. Um, a lady, Jill, if you're watching, I hope you're liking what you're seeing. So we have printed vellum. And then uh, this is a, a new book that I've got, some, what's it called? The Leafy Woodlands. The whole concept of this book was to be a sketchbook, um, a lady's sketchbook back, back in the day. And I work best with the theme and this was the theme I came up with. Now I haven't, normally I put tags in these, but it's already getting, it's already getting a bit weighty. So I'm, those ones I've left plain. More dried flowers. This time I've put them in uh, behind some cellophane. I've I actually cut these by hand. I couldn't find a die cut to fit the 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 frame I'd printed out, so cut them by hand. Um, put some cellophane on and then backed it with some cardboard. A notepad. Well, a note card. And that's what's that one? That's the vintage butterfly kit. That one is. And then I've just made up a, um, just some uh, watermark or ghost pages for the middle. And back of the papers. So I have tried to keep it to a theme. This is a, a die cut, a Tim Holt die cut. I don't know the name of it, one of the big styles. So you can put things inside. And I've left it open on the back to took something down. These are all um, dry flowers actually out of my garden, these are. Now I did have an attempt at, um, at a watercolour. I thought I'm going to decorate the pages because the theme is watercolour or sketchbook. I thought I'm going to have a go at doing that. Yeah, I did one and then figured I need to practice a whole lot more. But I will say that my journal now, my own journal, is, uh, is full of watercolour doodles. I am getting better. But I'm still not, no, nah, not quite right for, for something I'm going to sell. Some more prints. 
another watercolour side pocket. A bit of fabric for detail. I have actually gone in on this one and just coloured in the leaves on this one, just to give it a bit of interest. A tag. Yeah, I figured I always work better with a with a theme. I know where I'm going with things then. That's a, a print. Now I have actually gone round the edges on some of the flowers and just sort of sharpened it up a bit. That's another tag. Will that fit in? Yep. Graph paper. Note cards. Book pages. And the centre. And I've put a couple of bookmarks in these as well. So there are two of this um, satin ribbon bookmarks in them. Some more of the leafy woodlands book. Note card. This is um, a page I printed off. And I was going to use it for the inside the inside front cover, the inside covers and I started to colour it in so I started to hunt in the, um, the page and I thought it's not right for what I'm doing but it looks great inside the book so with a little tag so I've left it in there little tag and another printed flower And then, what are we on? Signature three, six signatures all together. So it's more the, these are so stiff. Can be great for, um, you know, when you do washes and they're very wet and they're very sloppy, you know. And I'm thinking, my God, you could probably stop a dam with this stuff. But there you go. There's another side pocket. I love that little hedgehog. Stamping again. And I've also put it in with... Um, Coloured it in. That's another tag. Oh, there. there are so many fibres on this thing. Note cards, book pages. This one is done, uh, this is acrylic paint through a stencil. Um, I did a tutorial, well, a sort of craft with me session. I'd seen another lady doing it. It is so effective, really effective. It's got a tag on the back. This is an Edith Holden page, but I figured that the sketching looked really good for the purposes of this book. Lizards or newts. Eh, perhaps, you know, maybe not, but I love the picture, so they went in the book. That's another one done through the stencil. A tag on the back. Note cards, little notes. That's another one of the, the die cut bags, so you can put cards in there. I wouldn't normally stick pockets in, but I thought this one suited it. And then Number four, I think we're on. So a tree this time. With another tag. And some book pages. Uh, I think I think these are called geraniums. At the garden, they grow like a weed, quite low lime plants. We do have to go in and rip them out every couple of years or so. But that, uh, yeah, so some more dried flowers in that one. Oh, and this one I backed up, that was another page that I printed off for the inside cover, as is my want, and that's because I'm a little bit tight when it comes to money. I'd actually printed, I'd already made a mistake on the other side, so gone in and reprinted it. Still didn't like it, so hence why it's stuck down, so you can't see the mistake on the back. On the, on the back. And the centre. Another little bag. Little card. Oh, 
bit of a collage going on. That's rosemary out of the garden, that one is. And that one, I think it's like a little bamboo plant we've got. As you can tell, I'm not really the gardener in that house. My husband is. And signature five. Five? Yeah, five, so. With a side pocket, a bit of fabric for interest. Another tag. Oops. Another print that I've just sort of gone around the edges just to add a bit of definition. Note cards, a bit more graph paper. Writing spots. And then book pages. I should moan about the weather. It is actually sort of quite hot. Quite warm at it. Uh, that's another, um, that's the second of the bookmarks that I've put in. I think it's mid 20s out here at the moment, which is pretty unusual for spring, uh, for autumn. Mind you, saying that it's pretty unusual for England anyway. But, um, oh, I love that picture, the squirrels. Um, but next week they, they reckon it's mid teens, wet and windy. It's a proper autumn weather next week. Then I suppose we'll all be moaning it's too oh it's raining, oh it's this. Another tag. And I think that has to be my favourite picture. And the other bookmark. I put that on <laughs> because I didn't like the leaf under there and it sort of hid it. And one of the Bookmarks, uh, tags. Another piece of printed vellum. And some more dried flowers. So, crocus in here, and I'm sure that's the bamboo. And then, centre page. Writing spots, cards, that looks so weird now I look at it now, but it looked quite nice when I first did it. So I think those are the geranium leaves and then um, a couple of leaves off the bamboo I think. So pockets, tag. With the printed vellum and the back page. So there we go. It's quite a chunk this one, possibly because of all the um, all the tags and all the dimensional stuff that's in the. Uh, yeah, pleased with this. It's uh, it certainly sparked my interest in watercolours again. So you know. Kit was dusted off and off we trotted and I think I'm good at colouring in. I know what colours I like so the colours aren't a problem. It's <laughs> watercolours, you can't control them. I can't control them. But I have a lot of fun trying. Anyway, Jill, I hope it's what you wanted. And everybody else, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.